Guyana is killing Calypso. That's not a joke. That's not clickbait. I'm dead serious. Calypso is a uniquely Caribbean art form, a genre that doesn't feel complete without poetic lyrics, satire, and social commentary. However, over the years, there have been many cries and complaints that the Calypsos have become stale and the lyrics quite monotonous. Now, of course, when you ask the question, why so? Censorship is the first thing that comes to mind. However, this problem can be traced to a lot more than just censorship. I'm the unspecialist, and I think it's time we have a serious discussion about the impending death of Calypso in Guyana. One medical mistake can permanently change your life or the life of someone you love. These mistakes are too common in America, causing injury and sometimes death. If you suspect that you were injured as a result of a medical mistake, call Washington Law Firm today. Don't lose your opportunity to get compensated. Don't wait. Book your free consultation with Washington Law Firm by calling 718-877-3100. Or find us at 455 Utica Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. If you'd like to advertise with us, be sure to make contact via our Facebook page. You can also inquire about hiring me to host your events, record voiceovers, or radio ads. The beautiful voice that you heard in the ad on this video is also available to you along with many others. Sometime after the 2024 National Junior and Senior Calypso Monarch competitions, I remember coming across an article on Newsroom by Neil Marks about this year's Calypso competition the good, the bad, and the ugly. Of course, there were discussions about the subject matter of the Calypsonians, the location choice, the lack of promo, and other issues like littering. However, one statement in particular stood out to me. Noticeably absent from this year's Calypsos were the commentary on the political scandals and happenings of the day. One has to wonder why. No, we don't have to wonder. It's blatantly obvious. All we need to do is look at the genre and this year's competition, and then also look at the development or decline of the genre and the competition over the years prior. And I think we can get right into it. One of the biggest issues is that the government controls the biggest platform for Calypso in Guyana. Now, I'm sure there may be some people ready to argue that that's not the case, but the national junior and senior Calypso monarch competitions are the biggest stage for Calypsonians in Guyana. If you know of another one, I'll wait. Until then, that's the elephant in the room that needs to be addressed. And so long as the Calypsonians who are performers in an innately controversial genre stand on the government stage, certain things are to be expected. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's an indictment on the government of the day or even governments of the past, because especially in the past, we can look and see that we've had national Calypso monarch competitions that were very controversial, filled with hype, and quite essentially exactly what we expect from good or great Calypso. And in my opinion, one of the best ways to understand what's happening to the genre today is to look at what's happening in the schools and junior Calypso competitions in Guyana. Earlier this year, in the school's Calypso competition, we saw a young contestant get disqualified for her song about the 6.5% increase given to public servants across Guyana. Ironically, her disqualification resulted in her song becoming way more popular than the song that eventually went on to win the competition. And amidst all the controversy and the backlash, there are some clear issues that were brought to the fore. Now, I'm certain we all saw the ministry's official statements in response to the backlash. And once you sift away all the politically correct and disarming language from the statement, the essence or the official stance on Junior Calypso in Guyana comes down to this. 
using the official rules and the statements released, as well as what actually happened in real life, it's clear that the juniors can't or they're strongly discouraged from discussing mature topics and, of course, overtly engaging in political discourse. And these rules, written or unwritten, overt or implied, by default, restrict the potential subject matter for these junior Calypsonians. And as a result, they cultivate a culture that is directly destructive to the soul of Calypso. If you don't believe me, let's move on to the next point and look at the senior competition. This next problem lies at the feet of the Calypsonians themselves. Now, of course, I understand that this is a competition and you'll do whatever you have to do to win whatever's the, the best strategy, the most effective or efficient way to secure that win. However, as an artist in a specific genre, I'm certain that there's a desire to stay true to the essence of whatever that genre is, or at least put your own twist on it. And if there's a few things that we've already established as being core or central to this spirit of Calypso, are those poetic lyrics, the satire, and the social commentary. So it's almost a guarantee that every time a Calypsonian takes to the stage, there's a strong chance that they might be ruffling some feathers, upsetting some people in some high places, or simply touching topics that people may be too uncomfortable discussing in their everyday lives. However, in this year's senior competition, this change or problem was most evident. True fans of Calypso may have watched on expecting the Calypsonians to grace the stage and ruffle a lot of feathers. However, what we've noticed is that the opposite has happened. In fact, that controversial culture has gone out the window and what's come through the door to replace it are a host of songs and performances that only suggest that someone or something has kept a tight lid on the creativity in the genre and kept a tight control over what the Calypsonians can speak about. Now, of course, ultimately the Calypsonians themselves are in control of what they write and perform. And this is why I laid that problem at the feet of the Calypsonians, because what we've seen instead of ruffling the feathers of the politicians, the rich, the famous, and discussing those uncomfortable topics, we've seen them preening the feathers of the rich, the famous, the politicians, and completely avoiding those uncomfortable discussions. It has gotten so bad to the point that I would die of alcohol poisoning if I had to take a shot for every song that made heavy use of the one Guyana slogan over the last two to three years. And in my opinion, this safe and appeasing culture is being created by the norms of the platform itself. That culture is being internalized by the artists and performers, and it appears that they aren't doing much to fight back. Let's take a look back at that statement in the news article. If I remember correctly, there was a song that had commentary about the political scandals and happenings of the day. Huff, Puff, Pass by Taylor Edwards. And if you look at the performance, it seems that the crowd enjoyed it. However, that song didn't place. And if you're a competitor and you're looking to win, you see that and realize, hmm, I got to do what I need to do to make myself fit in. And that simple process brings us to the situation that we have today, which is why I have two suggestions that I don't think in any way will solve the problem overnight. But I think if implemented, they may help take things or at least start taking things in the right direction. One of the first things we need to look at is the junior category itself. The junior category has age ranges from 14 to 20 years old. One of the biggest problems with that age category is that 
under the label junior, you have 18, 19, and 20 year olds who, the moment you put them in that junior category, you automatically limit their subject matter and what they can talk about. And of course, in Guyana, at 18 years old, you can drive, you can vote, you can drink, you're a legal adult. So shouldn't you be allowed to engage in mature adult conversation, especially if expressed through an art form? And in the same breath, we'd be delusional to think or assume that 16 and 17 year olds aren't hearing the same issues and having the same discussions as their 18, 19 and 20 year old peers. However, for age reasons, it's fine. Let's keep them as juniors. A fair counter and consideration for that suggestion, however, is that they may have the age grouping that wide because of a lack of participants overall. However, my counter to that would be that perhaps the lack of participants is due to some of these very issues that I have pointed out in the video today. The censorship may be frustrating, the competition norms may be frustrating, and a lot of persons who had dreams of becoming a Calypsonian had those dreams killed before they ever got on stage because of some of the things that they may have seen happen in the competition and perhaps even behind the scenes. This next suggestion is the most obvious one, and it's that Calypso in Guyana needs more platforms. Platforms that aren't reliant or heavily reliant on the government, platforms that allow the Calypsonians to fully express themselves, platforms that allow the art form to get the respect it deserves. All in all, if we want to hear more Calypso, we need to play more Calypso, have more platforms for Calypso, and encourage artists to make more Calypso. However, if these issues that I've pointed out continue to persist, we're only stewarding or shepherding the genre to an early grave in Guyana. What do you think about the topic? Do you think I'm overreacting or people are overreacting to the state of Calypso in Guyana? Was I completely off base with the issues or the different things that I may have pointed out in the video? Let me know down in the comments. Of course, a lot of this is up to interpretation and personal opinion. What do you think can be done to improve the state of the genre in Guyana? Do you think there's hope? Do you think there's a chance that we can see somewhat of a Calypso revival in this country? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.